Hey, so what is going on everyone? I have another video here to share with all of you on how to convert .heic files to .jpg or back to JPEG on a Windows PC or a Mac computer. So Apple has adopted something new in iOS 11 and I believe they're calling it .heif. It just stands for high efficiency image file or high efficiency image container. Basically, it's a good thing. As of right now, I don't believe Windows supports it natively. So it's going to allow us to take higher resolution pictures it's a newer method, a uh, more advanced modern compression method that's going to be very helpful to us because it will save storage on our devices. So what happened to me was these pictures here you can see on my screen I took with my iPhone 7 Plus running iOS 11 and I copied them over to my Windows 10 Pro computer and this is what I got back. Some of them were blank and they end in .heic. So I found something that's free, quick, safe, and easy. You just download it. I'll show you how to do it in a minute, but let me open it up. It is called iMazing. And basically you can just take these .heic files and drop them right over and they convert just like that. And then what you can do is crank this little thing here up to 100, click convert. You can save it right to your desktop. It will convert it, click okay, and there it is. So if I drag that back over, see this here says 0043, this says 0043. That is my picture that I just converted. So you can very quickly put these in there and and convert them right over to .jpg. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but Apple actually did not create this. This is from the MPEG group who also created those AAC file formats, but this is actually a good thing. Again, it just threw some people off. I'm gonna put a link in the description for you guys to go download iMazing. What you do is you just go to Google, type in HEIC converter, that will bring up the official pay, uh, website right here. And then you just click on that and you can go in here. It's a free download. I did not notice any spam or anything like that. Again, it's available for Mac or PC. So yeah, that's all you really need to do is go download that. You can do this really quickly. Then you can delete these files and it keeps the same high resolution there, just converts them over to JPEG. I believe for a while that will probably remain a free program. You know, you could just dig around online and find different converters. So if you guys wanna know how to stop iOS 11 from saving photos and images in the HEIC format, I'm gonna put a video link and a link in the description here for you guys to go to that video. You can watch how I disable that in the uh, iOS settings on my iPhone 7 Plus. I don't believe the feature is available for everybody, but it will show you how to avoid this entirely until it becomes more compatible, you know, and Windows supports it natively and whatever. But anyway, I hope this helps some of you out. Click the like button, share this video on the forums and with your friends. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time.